We've had a lot of people hitting us up on social media. Yes. And Rachel Hanley has been handling all the Q and A yep. from our viewers. They've been sending in questions, social media, text, email, yep. everything. Let's head over to her. Yeah. She's got some answers for us. Hey, what you need to know, right? Yeah, and we have been getting a lot of questions yeah. and a lot of good ones. It's really been hard to decide which ones to answer, but ultimately we're trying to pick the ones that will affect the most people, that will reach the most people. And so I wanted to start with one that we were talking about a lot this morning, but haven't touched as much this afternoon. And that was someone asking, is the Armstrong International Airport open right now? Yes, it is, but all flights are grounded right now. The airport itself is open and in a statement, the airport said that it is going to stay open as long as conditions permit. So if people are stuck there because their flights are grounded, they can stay there for right now. The actual airport itself is still open, but on the flight status board, which goes up until about five o'clock today, every single arrival and every single departure is canceled. After that, who knows? Maybe some flights will end up leaving or coming later tonight. The airport hasn't said. It's very played by ear at this point. But for right now, there are no flights going in or out. But if you do have loved ones who are at the airport, know that they are uh, safe there and they will not at this point be forced to leave. Um, multiple people have asked whether the Crescent City Connection could close at any point today. A lot of people have pointed out that that's something that a lot of commuters want to know if you were you know unlucky enough to get stuck working today um as of right now we don't know i actually cannot find this information anywhere um i can say that right now it is open we can see on the dotd's map that it is open we haven't gotten any information about what kind of wind speeds would force it to close but i can tell you where to find it whenever if, if that were to happen. Um, 511LA.org is the website for the Louisiana DOTD, and they have a map that shows closures, and you will be able to see whether the Crescent City Connection is closed on that. So this website on your screen right now is the one that you want to take a picture of, write down, save, if you have to go over the Crescent City Connection tonight, because that will have up-to-date information on whether that's closed. For now, we just can't predict whether that's gonna happen, but it is open at the moment. Um, somebody asked if the pumps on the West Bank are working. We did talk about pumps just a minute ago, but we, I don't believe, talked about ones on the West Bank specifically. As of right now, according to that sewerage and water board, uh, storm dashboard that we showed you a second ago, there are two pumping stations on the West Bank, the drain Algiers, both of them are currently pumping. Um, it did say that one pump at one of the stations is on uh, standby for emergencies only. So far, we don't know if that has been uh, put into use yet. But as of right now, it looks like pumping in the West Bank is going uh, almost at 100% um, just from what the Sewerage and Water Board's uh, dashboard said. Um, someone asked an interesting question too. Uh, it's kind of a curiosity, but also does affect people. They asked what exactly landfall means. Is it the the eye wall of the hurricane coming on? Is it the you know outer bands? And it actually, and I double checked this with Peyton a minute ago, um, just to make sure I wasn't telling y'all something wrong, um, but it's actually the middle of the eye wall passing over land. So if you drew a straight line through the middle of the hurricane there, landfall is whenever that touches land. And obviously, as we're seeing today, it almost doesn't matter. I mean, you're going to have the highest winds in the eye wall for sure, but we've been seeing rain and impacts all day, even before this hurricane has gotten close to land. So, you know, it's important, but landfall is definitely not the only thing that you should be paying attention to today. Far from it. Um, somebody asked where the cooling centers in New Orleans are going to be after the storm passes. We don't know where they will be specifically, but we did hear from city officials maybe about an hour and a half ago, and they did, um, excuse me, they did say that they will have cooling centers after the storm passes. They said that they're going to have air conditioning and water for people who need it. Um, we, again, don't know where those are, but we will let you know as soon as we find out. We're expecting to get that information relatively soon. Usually they're pretty good about putting that out uh, as soon as they can. Um, and again, they did say that 
we will have cooling centers. Um, and then this wasn't so much a question, but I did want to clarify something from um, some of these earlier segments we had done. We've been saying text NOLA ready one word to 77295 for updates from the city. That's about things like tornado warnings, um, neutral ground parking, that kind of thing. And I have noticed that we've gotten a few texts on our own uh, texting service for people thinking that they needed to text that to us. Um, the number that you are texting is 77295. And the word that you are texting is NOLA ready. And that's how you sign up for those alerts. Um, if you do want some of your questions answered, though, the number for us is 504-529-4444. You can see it on your screen right there. And again, we're just trying to get to as many questions as we can as the storm is coming on shore.